Ford thought he knew what he wanted from life until he met Millie. You shouldn't want to be like them. You should want to be like you. I'm not supposed to love you. Together, they'll find true love is worth fighting for. Something's wrong. Parkinson's. That's what I have, right? Whatever I have to do, this is one thing in my life I'm going to get right. Based on the best-selling book, I love you. I'm always going to love you. Madeline Stowe, Bruce Greenwood, in... save hers. Get your father right now. What is it? Look at the can, Kondraki. You know what I Look at the R. Okay, you gotta help me out here. I'm... They're crooked, Mort. They're crooked, the letters. They're fine. There's nothing wrong. Oh, no, you don't get it. Look, they felt crooked. And look at this. So it's just this ulnar neuropathy. Believe me, it only sounds bad. Pinch nerve in the elbow. This should take care of it. Going back to that doctor, he lied to me. No, well, we don't know that. Symmetra could be for lots of things. No, it's for Parkinson's disease, Mort. What kind of a doctor it's tricks a person like that? Mort, I don't think he was tricking you. I think there's more than one explanation. There has to be. I have seen people with Parkinson's. I've counseled them with their whole body shake. They, 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 they can't walk. They choke on their food. I cannot have this disease, Mort. I am not taking this medicine, and I'm never going back to that lying master doctor again. Okay? Oh, the way this works is a little backwards. So it won't stop the tremors? It might stop the tremors. If it does, however, then what that means is... Parkinson's. I've read about this, and, um... the kind of <clears throat> tremors that respond to cinnamon are associated with Parkinson's disease. So if I take this, and the tremors stop, that's what it means. That's what I have, right? That's right, yes. People die from this, don't they? Yeah, some do, but not everybody. Lots of people live with Parkinson's for 30 or 40 years. Yeah, but how? Well, that's the point. I mean, you just don't know yet how it's going to affect each person individually. So your mom might have the lightest case of it in the world. She might not have it at all. So I, I think we should just try and stay optimistic. The doctors say rest and conserve your energy, and then you start these night workshops and have it cost you. That's because there's a need. No, you, what you need is to conserve your energy, and what you need is to cut back. Oh, if I do that, my clients will quit. No, your clients aren't going to quit. They love you. They're not going anywhere, but you should start thinking about seeing fewer of them. Honey, you almost fainted yesterday. Your blood pressure's out of control. I mean, you're losing weight. You can't afford to lose. <laughs> And then you start with these, uh, these new projects that you don't have the strength to finish. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say, slow down. Just a grain what I'm more concerned about is the effect of the woman's medication. That's why I'm seeing dehydration, which alone is enough to interfere with 
the cinema's ability to do its job. So what do we do? I think we should go back to zero. Take off everything, gradually, and start again with the cinema in precise, measured doses until we can determine what's ideal. Afternoon, Mrs. Kondraki. Blood pressure time. Just oh, to She was like a living corpse. Well, part of the story, I want her back in the cinema. Storm I want her back in the cinema yesterday, and don't you give me a reason why that can't be done. Right, right. We can do that. We can do that. But what? There's, there's something else. I mean, this situation is more complicated than most. A tenth of the people we test for Parkinson come under a category we've been calling Parkinson Plus. We know very little about it. Or how to treat it. After about a week, Millie came home again, but she was never the same after that. She had less control over her body and her speech was getting worse. And sometimes she'd get so depressed that she'd talk about killing herself, and then in the next breath, she'd bring in a new client or add some other project to take on, and nothing I said, nothing anybody said could slow her down. All I'm saying is that Rosa hadn't called the ambulance. You'd be sitting there on the bottom of the porch. You know what? Now. You're totally you'd have overreacting. To, you'd have to drive yourself I to slipped, the hospital. I slipped on the stairs. Well, because... And that's when we learned that one of the features of Parkinson's Plus is the loss of balance. I'm gonna... And from that I'm point gonna... on, Millie would trip over curbs, over carpets, over anything or nothing at all. I took care of everyone. I. I hate this flight and I hate this wheelchair. I'll do the kitchen myself. No, no, don't, don't, Millie. Damn it, Millie. What's the matter with you? You're in a wheel. Strength and determination she's inspired in me and 
So many others whose lives have been touched by Parkinson's. I mean, Millie's whole life was proof that one's dignity can be attacked, cruelly mocked, but it cannot be taken away. Only surrendered. And Millie never surrendered. Just like thousands of others who aren't surrendering. Nor should they have to. In the 80s, doctors said that with the right attention and resolve, and with the funding, Parkinson's could be cured in a matter of five to ten years. Well, now, two decades later, they're still saying the same thing. Thank you. And good night.